What is gluten? What is the difference between celiac disease and gluten sensitivity? Is there a blood test that detects celiac disease? Can gluten make pain worse? What are the foods that contain gluten? How will I know if I should continue a gluten-free diet for life? So let's talk about gluten and pain today. Please remember that this video is for educational purposes only. If you have a condition that could be causing your symptoms, talk to your doctor. If you want to try a restrictive diet, consult a dietitian. In case of emergency, please go to the nearest emergency department or call an ambulance. Gluten is a complex protein found in grains such as wheat, barley and rye. Anything that is made of these grains contains gluten, like bread, pasta, cakes, pies, cereals, crackers, and so many other delicious things. Celiac disease is the name of an autoimmune disease where the person develops antibodies that attack their own body, including the gut, causing diarrhea, bloating, and abdominal pain. It may also attack the joints, causing arthritis and other body tissues. The body will produce these antibodies when the person ingests gluten. It's like the body will think the gluten is dangerous, like a virus or bacteria, and will release these antibodies, but instead they will destroy its own body. A person with celiac disease may have symptoms predominantly in the guts, but because the guts are inflamed, they will not absorb other important nutrients and they may develop anemia and osteoporosis. The person may also have headaches, widespread pain, depression, weight loss, and fatigue, which resembles fibromyalgia, but it is not fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is a different thing. Watch my other video here. The doctor may order a blood test that measures the amount of antibodies and this might confirm the diagnosis of celiac disease. The doctor may also order an endoscopy or a colonoscopy to examine inside the guts and do a biopsy as well. It is estimated that there are 3 million people with celiac disease in the US and many of them are not properly diagnosed because the symptoms are too vague and subjective. Celiac disease is not the same as gluten sensitivity. If you like this video so far, give a thumbs up here and subscribe to this channel. In gluten sensitivity, there are no antibodies detected in the body and there is no destruction to the guts like seen in the celiac disease. However, people with gluten sensitivity may have symptoms similar to irritable bowel syndrome, which includes abdominal pain, bloating, and diarrhea. So the two conditions overlap a lot. Irritable bowel syndrome is not triggered by gluten, and it's more like a malfunction of the pain system, similar to fibromyalgia, but localized in the abdomen. In gluten sensitivity, almost all of their symptoms are improved if they go on a gluten-free diet. In IBS, the gluten-free diet does not make much difference. So, in both celiac disease and gluten sensitivity, the only treatment we know is a gluten-free diet. So, what is a gluten-free diet? Basically, you need to look for gluten-free food in your grocery shop. If a food contains gluten, you would not find it listed in the label. Many things that you would not even imagine may contain gluten, like pancakes, breaded meat, pretzels, crackers, gravies, and many drinks that are made from barley, like beer or some liquors. If the symptoms improve with a gluten-free diet, then it is recommended you stick to this diet for life. Many people do not improve with a free gluten-free diet, and it could be they have a different sensitivity, like the FODMAPs, which are small sugars in fruits and vegetables, or lactose intolerance. 
These are topics for other videos on my channel. Now answer this question here in the comments below. Have you tried a gluten-free diet? Which were the symptoms that you noticed have improved? And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.